Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this video, I'm going to be answering Joe's request. Joe posted on Twitter saying, after being spoiled with Webflow interactions, I really want the new Made By Google store to actually lift the items when I hover over them. And I responded with, agreed. It's really simple to do that inside of Webflow. And he said, if, anyone sh if anyone's gonna do it, you should. And here I go, I'm gonna do it. Now, if you haven't been to the new Google store, uh, go to store.google.com and this is what we're talking about, right? And so I'll just show you a little bit of what's happening right here. And if you hover over the um, 3D elements, nothing happens, okay? They're just flat images that go up when the page loads. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create 3D boxes and have a hover effect on them with uh, some sort of animation. It's really simple to do if you can get the 3D concept, okay? So I'm gonna break it down as simple as possible in this video. Ready to get started? Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to recreate the hero row. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a section all right, and I'm gonna call this section hero. Okay, I'm gonna skip the nav navigation bar and um, I'll just go ahead and make the height, say this one, like 600. Yeah, something like that, 700. Yeah, we'll go 700 like that, all right? And then um, what I wanna do is, this is gonna be two columns. The first column is gonna be text and the second column is going to be the actual 3D boxes. So that's why I'm going to set it to Flexbox because Flexbox is only one direction, either one row or one column. So there we go. Now that I have one row, let's go ahead and set some columns. So this is column one. So I'll just call this Flex Call One and we'll give this a basis of like say 300 pixels cool something like that yeah 300 is not enough let's say percentage 40 percent 30 yeah 40 all right cool 40 is like that now inside of here needs to be the the content the text and so i'm going to go ahead and add text inside and this is just copy and paste. There we go. All right, so I'll just leave it like that. This is just very, this is a very, very basic run through, okay? So I'm not gonna do everything exactly like the Google page, but this should give you an idea of how to tackle a uh, hero row, kind of like uh, Google's uh, Google store page. Right, so this needs to be in the center. How to do that is I'm also gonna set this column to flex and since it's just a column I can just do vertical like that and set it to center and there we go and it's hitting the sides so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put some padding there we go I'm gonna put some padding on the sides pretty cool something like that All right now that's done let's go ahead and do, uh, get into our 3d stuff All right so I'm going to drag in another div block right here into the hero, okay? So we have the flex call one and then this div block right here. We're gonna call it flex call two, okay? And we're going to expand. So when you click expand like this, it takes up the rest of the, of the space of the row, okay? So this one has a basis of 40, so if I make it smaller, the flex, uh, flex column two will take up whatever space is left. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Pretty good. All right, so this one is going to have 3D objects inside of it. So how to enable 3D is you whatever the parent ob, uh, the parent element is, you scroll down here to transforms, and then you hit the kebab or whatever you call this, because you have hamburger menus, I'm gonna call this a kebab. And then the children perspective, set that distance to 2000. That means anything inside of this uh, element will be 3D. Okay, cool. 
no glasses necessary all right so uh let's go ahead and make our first 3d object now just to start so you can understand 3d i'm going to make this flex as well and set it to center and justify center all right so anything i put in here will be the very it'll be in the very center of the element okay and let's call this let's call this box okay now that i have a box uh let's let's copy let's start with a simple box like 200 pixels by 200 pixels simple okay now let's go ahead and um make this position relative okay because i'm going to have two layers i'm going to have two extra divs inside of this that's going to be position absolute so it needs a target and this box is going to be the target by using relative all right let's change this uh let's add a combo class because i'm going to reuse this box class later but let's add a combo class of um let's say pink ish yeah something like that all right and let me just get the color from the google page all right got it and so pinkish is going to be this color Ugh. pepto bismol and now i want to add two other divs so this first div is going to be one of the sides of the of the box of the 3d box and then the other side is going to be the other side of the 3d box okay um it'll make sense as i go along but follow follow me so i'm going to put another div box or div block inside the box and this one is going to be with 200 okay and the height i'm going to double it to 400 okay now i'm going to make the position absolute set it to the top left and notice see how it's targeting the box that's what i mean by relative okay and the top is going to be 200 pixels okay so i'm moving it see i'm moving it down to 200 because i want it there and let's call this box bl for bottom left all right, let's put in another box or div block inside that box. And we'll call this bottom BR for bottom right. And this one is going to be the opposite. Instead of with 200, it's going to be with 400 and the height 200. Okay, so you have this guy and then you have this guy. And I'm going to set the position to absolute and I'll push it from the left 200 pixels and there we go okay let's color them so this one let's give it a background color of like say this and then the bottom right a little bit darker something like that okay now think of it like um old paper dolls okay everything was um Everything in paper dolls, you know, is flat. But when you fold them in, this one's going to fold in and this one's going to fold in to the point where these two sides are going to touch. When you fold them in in a 3D space, they're able to touch. Okay, so it's like paper dolls. All right. So now you're ready for the 3D-ness. You ready? You ready? Here we go. I'm going to click on this box. And for... Let me go back to... Hold on. Let me go back to... Let me click this. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go back to its parent um, class box. Okay, and now here we go. I'm going to click on transforms plus rotate and watch the 3Dness. Here we go. Ooh, 3D. Okay, so I'm taking that X and I'm just playing around with it until it looks like something good. Okay, so I'm going to do something like this. And now with the Y. Um, now I'm going to leave the Y zero. And then the Z. There we go. Let me play around with it a little more like that. Okay, and now like I said, paper dolls. Okay, you ready? I'm going to go to this bottom left. 
and I'm going to swing it in. Now how we're going to do this though is we're going to set a transform setting to this and we need to set the origin to the top. Okay, so the origin right here, that's the top center. So that's right here. Okay, and so when I do that, when I play around with the rotate, it'll be anchored from there. Okay, so I'm going to press plus, rotate, and now I think it's the, is it the X? Yes, the X. See, now you have that swing, swinging effect. Yeah, you got to make that squeaky noise, okay? Promise me you'll do the squeaky noise when you play around with this. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set it to 90, easy number. And I'm just going to do the same thing with this. But instead of the X, I'm going to do it on the Y. All right, so take this, transform. The origin is going to be on the left because it's on this side, not here. Okay. And press plus on transforms. Rotate and squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> okay, 90. Boom, done. See? 3D box, okay? Um, and you know what? For this, I can, uh, I can cut it off so I don't see the end of this. So with the hero right here selected, I can click on overflow hidden, and there we go. I can take this guy and um, actually, I'm going to go back to flex column two, how I have it centered. Let's push it to the bottom. Boom. Cool. And when I hover, let's go here. Okay. So I want an animation. When I hover over this, it should go up. Okay. So let's go ahead and set a transition type transform. So now let's change the easing to something nicer. We'll say ease out. Let's go out quint. Something like that. Ooh, that seems a bit a bit fast. Okay, I'm gonna do ease out quint. Or, yeah, court, and then set this to 400. Okay, so that's my timing for any transforms that I change. This will animate any transforms that I change. All right, now we're going to set this to hover. And I'm going to press plus. And on the Y, we're just going to bring it up a little bit like that. Cool. Done. So now when I preview... There we go. Not too hard. All right. Now let's do one more shape. All right. Let's let's put something else inside of here. All right. Um. Let's see. What's this? This horizontal. Okay. Cool. Let's put another box. Um. Actually, yeah. Let me just copy and paste this box. Copy, paste. Now we have two boxes. Ooh, even more three Dness. Look at that. Oompa loompa doopa d d. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate this class and we'll call this uh, green. Let me get the green color from the page. Cool. Got it. Change the color. Boom. Now we have green. Now let's make this more of a rank rectangle. Okay. So I'm going to make the height 400. Mm, don't want it that way. No, I want it the other way. Let's go with 400. Cool. And now I just need to change this. So I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, uh, green BL. Okay. And I think it's the width. Yeah. So the width will be 400. And the height, we can keep it at 400. That's fine. And then the bottom right, we can go ahead and set the, I think that's, everything is already okay. I just need to move this to the, to the right more. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we have two different shapes and they're overlapping and it looks very 3D. All right. 
Wait, are we missing one guy? Uh-oh. Oh, because I moved them both. I didn't give it a combo class. Let me put them back. 200. There we go. So green BR. And this has to be pushed double. There we go. Okay. So 3D is not too hard. Okay. So have fun with it. And yeah, hope this helps. Okay, that's it. Um, hopefully you understood what was going on. Again, it's like paper dolls and then you're cutting them out and then you're folding them so sides can touch together in a 3D space. So 2D becoming 3D. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this video by leaving a comment below or if you have an idea for a future video, leave that too. But more importantly, if you are using any of the tricks I'm showing you on my channel, put a link to your project. I would love to see what you're doing. Other than that, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to continue supporting me, please click on the subscribe button, like, and the notification bell. You can follow me on Twitter at the pixel geek and yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. And as always make the web beautiful together. See ya.